Apparently it's good luck to touch this guy's toe here and rub his toe. I wonder if he has ticklish feet. For those of you watching my videos, you know I've been on a quest for a long time for bacon and eggs, or just even eggs, with coffee for breakfast. And here in Split, there's a number of restaurants that offer it, and so I'm just ecstatic this morning to have a wonderful breakfast, four pieces of bacon, and three eggs, and coffee. Fantastic. Just finished a very nice breakfast. It was something I think I'd been craving for a while. Uh, cost was 45 kuna, which turns out to be about six and a half dollars. It's actually pretty expensive for this area of the world um, and outside of my budget, but I was craving it. Not sure if I'll go for it again tomorrow, but uh, it was nice to sort of take the edge off and have some eggs and bacon coffee. Headed back to the hostel, gonna do a little bit of work online, and then hopefully get out to wander around this amazing city. It's just gorgeous here, fantastic weather today. Really looking forward to exploring uh, Split for the day. Had a very productive morning. I got some client work done, troubleshooting on a website, another job on the press. A lot of people ask me how I support myself for traveling full time like I do. I have two sources of income. One is a graphic design company that I've owned for over 25 years. So that's most of the work that I'm doing in the morning is design work. I have some retainers for clients to do advertising, do logo design, maintaining websites, things like that. So that's one source of income. And the other source is investment rental properties. And so I own uh, three small houses in Florida that are rented out and people uh, pay me rent so I'm able to uh, live off of either source of income and then traveling I try to limit myself to a budget of about a thousand uh, dollars a month so it's about thirty dollars a day so that covers my accommodation my food all of my travel like buses uh, planes uh, things like that and so just staying in that budget and everything's good. So that's how I managed to do my long-term travel Anyway, I'm headed to find some lunch and then wander around and explore this amazing city of split is one of two original sphinxes that are from Egypt made out of granite that are here in the city brought here by the Romans I don't know a thousand years ago or something like that uh, behind me over here is a tunnel going down into a basement catacombs area I'm going to go down there and explore that area After leaving the catacomb basement area, you come out here to the harbor. So it's right on the edge of the harbor area, the uh, promenade. This is one of the four gates into the city of Split, the old city area. Really spectacular Roman gateway. Found myself a slice of pizza. So I'm going to have that for my lunch here. Over my shoulder here is a giant fist coming out of the side of the wall probably about oh, 50, 60 feet up there. I don't know how many meters that is. And water is shooting out of that and down to this funnel over here on the ground. Giant piece of artwork. Very, very interesting and very creative. I like it a lot. Just had a nice lunch and quick nap at the hostel. And I'm here with my new friend Drew that I met at the hostel. Hi. Drew is from the U.S. and 
We are going to walk to a beach here just outside of Split on the exterior of the old town and check out the beaches here. down here and uh -huh. we're walking around to look for a good place to set out some beach towels and enjoy the afternoon. I am hiking back into the wild beaches outside of Split up this little mountainside rocky beach area and this is the area where we have the new beaches everywhere down below me. Probably have seen 40 or 50 people without clothing so far. And because life's an adventure, I like trying new things. I'm going to join them today, naked on the beach. Arrived at the beach, and so here I go. No clothing on the beach, enjoying the hot sun. All natural. Why not? A great time today hanging out at the nude beach here in Croatia. Definitely a different experience for me. Um, it was a little strange I guess in the beginning but at the same time it was sort of freeing and liberating not hard it's hard to describe the feeling but overall I'm glad I tried it I'm glad I enjoyed uh, sort of uh, going without clothing and being on the beach for a couple hours and it's a lot of fun so I'm headed back to the hostel now it's been a fantastic day I have an absolutely fantastic day here in Split just uh, fantastic amazing weather I'm <laughs> still running out of superlatives, uh, adjectives to describe how amazing and wonderful and incredible Croatia is. And Split in particular I think is probably my favorite city so far here just as far as what it has to offer as eye candy and things to look at and things to do. Um, that's all I have for this episode so remember savor the moment, pursue your passions, be happy. I'll see you for next episode. Behind me here is a giant statue of Guy. He looks like a wizard. He looks like somebody out of Harry Potter or a fantasy novel, Gandalf, something like that. But uh, I guess it's Gregor Ninsky is his name. I like the big statue.